Hey there, Judy Mick, the Streaking Runner here, coming to you with another shorter video today. It's been a crazy week. Had to work um, a little more at the DQ this week than I usually do, or let's just say some longer hours. So I wanted to come back and just give you a, a quick um, video with about keeping your easy runs easy. <coughs> Excuse me. There are so many people that think they need to run all their runs flat out. If they run um, a nine, ten minute pace in a race, they think they need to do every run that they do that, that, at that speed. And that's really not true. And if you are, you're probably setting yourself up for, for injury and you're not getting the rest that you need on your easy days. Now, I know back in the day, as they say, when I would race at 7, 7, 10, 7, 15 uh, miles, I never ran a training run over 8, 59 minute pace but I could always come out and do my races. I was well rested and um, I just, you know, it just happens when your legs are ready for it. Now, you know, you do speed work during the week on one day a week. That helps you with the, the um, getting the speed up. But the whole idea of an easy run is just that easy. And really about 80% of your runs during the week should be easy runs with that 20% being your long run, which should still be at a fairly easy pace, most of it and your speed work. So your tip for the day, make your easy runs easy. You'll find that you'll race better and you'll probably keep running longer. Um, I've been running now for, you know, 32 years streaking and since 1978, which we won't go into how many years that is. But anyway, so, you know, run easy. Listen to your body and keep those easy days easy and you'll see that you can become a runner for life. Talk to you later.